pilot, we're introduced to the Strucker family. They're sort of this typical suburban American family. Reed Strucker starts out the series as someone who is securely on the side of humanity. These are serious charges. He works as a prosecutor and prosecutes mainly crimes that involve people using mutant abilities. But at the same time, he doesn't really understand the full implications of what he's doing. That doesn't really come home until he realizes that his own children are mutants. You don't understand. Andy and Lauren are mutants. Oh my god. When Andy manifests his powers, Lauren is forced to reveal that she is a mutant. They realize that they have to go on the run, and they end up hooking up with this underground group of mutants. When these two groups come together, they end up getting caught by the Sentinel services. Both sides wind up with one of the people that they really care about in prison. <laughs> Going into the second episode, Reed has been separated from his family. He finds himself sitting across an interrogation table from Jace Turner. Reed actually has a lot of insight into what Jace Turner's doing. He was on the other side, and he uses all of his skills to try to make a deal for his family. We are going to make a deal today, but we are going to do it on my terms. We find Polaris dealing with the realities of what it is to be a mutant in prison. <laughs> She's always been incredibly powerful, and finding herself in a situation where she's completely isolated, where she can't use her powers, is really, really emotionally difficult for her. No, 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 no! One of the mutants that we meet is Blink, who has this extraordinarily useful power, the ability to portal people from place to place. That's instrumental in saving everyone at the end of the pilot. Go, go, go! In the immediate aftermath, they have to deal with the fact that Blink is sick. She is freaking out, and portals are opening everywhere, and it's threatening the integrity of the headquarters. So Caitlin, who's ordinarily a nurse, has to step up and become something of a doctor to Blink and figure out a way to save her. If we get you that medicine, can you help her from here? At the same time, Andy and Lauren have to defend the headquarters from the cops. Going into the third episode, that's all about the family trying to rescue Reed by going back to the people that they care about, to the system that's supported them all their lives. Oh, Danny. Thank God you're OK. But realizing that that system has passed them by. They're on the other side now. They're working with the mutants, and it's a whole new world for them. You know why we're here. Caitlin and her kids, they inside? Reed is pushed to actually come through with this deal, and he actually ends up going in as a confidential informant to infiltrate the mutant underground. But in the middle of doing that, he realizes exactly what his actions will lead to. Stop the van. Sentinel Services put a tracker on me. Oh, my God. What did you do? I was just trying to protect my family. I wanted to see them. And he realizes that he can't sacrifice other families, innocent mutants, children, people who are just struggling to survive for the sake of getting back together with his own family. I'm sorry. Now he's in a terrible situation. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. At the end of the third episode, when Dreamer realizes that the only way to save the people who are trying desperately to get back to the Mutant Underground headquarters is to somehow fix Blink. Thunderbird, he's in trouble. They're all in trouble. I need you to make a portal. Get a car off the road. A car. Are you insane? You have to. I told you, I can't. You can if you have someone to care about. She goes against Thunderbird's wishes, and she implants a memory that she knows will motivate Blink to get her powers back and use them to save Thunderbird. This love triangle with a distinctly mutant flavor will have grave consequences as the series goes on. What did you do? She had something to connect to, so I gave her a memory. In the fourth episode, Eclipse realizes that he finally has the opportunity that he needs to rescue the woman that he loves, and he is willing to put everything on the line in order to do that. You sure you want to go back to them? No, but I'm out of better ideas. The only way that he can get the information that he needs is by going to his old flame. Sentinel Services is moving a couple of people I need to know where I'm going. Hitting Sentinel Services. He concocts a plan to hit this prison convoy that is taking Reed Strucker and Polaris to a secure location. That's interesting. You want to tell me what my prosecutor is doing in a cell? Mr. Strucker's got legal problems of his own. Reed represents everything that she despises. Told myself that I was the prosecutor. 
and that the laws were clear, and if you broke them, it was on you. Suddenly, she's face to face with the fact that she has to work with a representative of that entire system to get out and get back to Eclipse. Andy and Lauren discover that not only do they have these mutant strengths on their own, but they figure out a way that they can use these abilities together. We could use what I do to, like, focus what you do. And in an extremely high-stakes episode, they have to risk everything to rescue the people that they love. They manage to do it by the skin of their teeth, but in so doing, they discover a major twist. One of the people that they used to work with in the Mutant Underground has been turned against them, and they realize that the Sentinel Services has begun a whole new program of taking mutants and somehow turning mutants against their own kind. Dr. Campbell is somehow central to this program. And not only that, he is singularly focused on getting to the Strucker children. Have they been found yet? The Sentinel services are still looking. So in the wake of that, they're trying to deal with the aftermath of escaping from this prison convoy. And for both groups, it's a, it's a big deal because on the Strucker side, they're realizing that Reed Strucker has been on the other side of this mutant human divide for a very long time. And when he goes to the mutant headquarters for the first time, he discovers he does not have a lot of friends there. On the other side, Polaris and Eclipse are dealing with being pursued by the Sentinel services. You see it? Looks like we've got a new friend. We're going to have a lot more friends if we don't take it down soon. Polaris has come out of this experience of being in prison ready to fight. Eclipse doesn't want to see that happen. Eclipse wants to try to build a world that mutants and humans can live in together. Babe, we have to go. No, we're going. But this one's coming with us. They wind up capturing Jace Turner, finding out valuable information, but at great cost. The entire Strucker family, as they're reunited in episode five, comes together and realizes that wherever they were in the pilot, everything has changed. And they are now part of the mutant underground, for better or worse. What are they going to do now to deal with this existential threat to the entire world of mutants?